This is Bryce from Smiteworks, and welcome back to our GM Quick Start Guide video series. In this video, I will be showing you how to load in your modules. Modules are essentially rule books or adventure books or anything with game content in it into your Fantasy Grounds game. Once again, this is for game masters. I will be showing you in Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. However, this works in all Fantasy Grounds rule sets. The easiest way to load in the rule books that you want is from the setup screen. The setup screen automatically opens when you first load into a campaign, but if you've accidentally closed it or closed it intentionally, don't worry. I'll show you how to find it. We're just going to navigate up under the tools section of the toolbar. I'm going to click options. When the options window opens up, we're going to hit setup. From campaign setup, we will hit next, scroll down. We can either click modules to load in individual modules or we can load in all of the rules that we want. I'm just going to click 5e all rules. If you do not own all the rules, it will load the ones that you have. You can also do core rules to just pick the core rules of whatever rule set you're running. Or if supported, you can choose the SRD, which are the free rules for the rule set that you have. We'll pick 5e all rules. After a short wait, this screen will open up, letting you know that all of those modules have loaded in for you. Anyone with an X on it will tell you that you do not own that module, and it will also provide you with a link to go purchase it from the Fantasy Ground store if you wish. The other way to load in modules, we'll close out all of these windows, is under the Libraries tab of the toolbar. You can click Modules. That will open up this window which you will see all of your loaded in modules in. You can then click activation down in the bottom left side. And this will show you all of the modules that you currently own, including all of your adventures and anything purchased on the forge. Here's some MCDM products. Come over there. There's some Cobalt press. Here's some wizards of the coast. Let's just load in a uh, descent into Avernus as an example. After that is opened and loaded, we can close that window. You will now see it under the adventures in your modules window. All right. Now let's say you loaded a module that you did not intend to. We're going to come down to activation. We're going to search for it. Should be enough. Descent into Avernus players. Uh, Descent into Avernus, um, the adventure. We're going to unload that because we actually meant to load the player version. The difference between players versions and the actual modules, the players version has all of the players information, the, uh, including any races that an adventure might add or anything like that. And the regular one is just the adventure. With that done, we can then close that out and we've got all of our modules loaded and ready to go for our players to join in and use them. The next video will be about how players can load in the modules that the GM owns. If you want to stay up to date on these videos, remember to hit the subscribe button and click that little like bell. Keeps you notified when these are posted. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. And remember, you can always learn more at fantasygrounds.com.